Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here now. The Peter Channel News Evening Report for this Thursday, October 2nd, 2049, and Thursday evening. Here now, your news headlines are top three at 705 is in San Francisco, where the cyber attack on JP Morgan Chase and Company for finance in July compromised information from 76 million households and 7 million small businesses. The company revealed and now filled with a Securities and Exchange Commission filing. The Sam Tasby Middle School in Dallas, Texas, attended by one of their children exposed to the Thomas E. Duncan D. Boyle patient. The school has been fairly clean. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services reported on Thursday morning that five state residents were hospitalized with a firm case of the human and the virus 68. Joe and Teresa Gaddis have moving from the real hospitals of New Jersey to separate beds in different prisons. A federal judge in Newark has sentenced to the Star Street. America's favorite low rent reality show to prison Thursday in order to pay a hefty fine. Warren Buffett has Always said that he likes entries that come with a multi so called barriers and new entry that keep the competitors at bay. In San Francisco, Facebook said Thursday that they feature research on 1.3 billion users would be subjected to greater internal scrutiny from top managers, especially if they are focused on deeply personal topics and specific groups of people. Miles now worth an estimated $25 billion of check mine, which included a 7.8 stake in Alabama and a nearly 50% stake in payment and processing service Alabama. In Hong Kong, Staring down the students' demonstrators who have demanded they resign by the end of the day Thursday. Hong Kong's chief executive told a late night news conference that his government was willing to talk with protesters in the air. In Mount Arafat, Muslim pilgrims from the around the world began arriving late Thursday at Mount Arafat in Western Saudi Arabia for the annual Hajj pilgrimage to the spiritual peak of their lives. Four young men, one adult and three juveniles, have been arrested and suspected of breaking into California. Chicken Ranch are killing more than 900 birds with a golf club. Republicans are anticipating that they will be able to wrest control of the U.S. Senate from Democrats that they have to net just six seats to win the majority. Washington, as the growth of the United States economy outstrips the rest of the developed world, American policymakers are allowing Europe, Japan, and even China to seek a little more prosperity at the expense of Americans. Tomorrow is the first Friday of October, which means Labor Day tomorrow will release its monthly job report and update a look at how many jobs are coming out of the where the unemployment rate stands. Workers leave the first of that makes paper Thursday, October 2nd in Bucksport, Maine, while stunned workers say they will be scrambling for new work. Local residents fear a huge tax increase when a mill closes on December 1st. The mill employs 570 people and accounts. Hedge fund Perry Capital on Thursday upheld by a U.S. federal court decision to dismiss the suit challenging the government's policy of confiscating the profits of mortgage finance. As bond traders began what they thought would be a quiet day last Friday, a simple headline across the screen will make gross strange Janus Capital. Take a look at the stocks. Dow Jones closed 16.801.05 down 3.66. SP 519.46 17 up 100 of a point and Nasdaq 44 30 for 19 up 8.11. Facebook apologized Wednesday for deleting an account to use fake names. The policy upset members of the LGBT community and continued battle of a nominee at the web. How do other social media sites handle fake names? A lawyer for the distill said the group will assign act with quickening enough to remove the offending images from its sites. <laughs> Annabella Walsh and Ward of Horton are the husband and wife in these prequel to country which involves a search of tricky devilish doll. Things with Lena Dunham and boyfriend Jack ended off against Ruth, but they not exactly planned to walk down the aisle just yet. In the 2012 best selling book on the coming movie Gone Girl, Emmy Dunn, Gordon Minson, and police and friends tried to find out what they will know about Amy and husband Nick. Monarch Butterflies takes down an adventure to Monarch Butterflies Basque Reserve in Mexico's Michan State as the Monarch Butterfly migration may rebound this winter, experts say. An annual aerial survey conducted by the U.S. National Antarctic and Atmospheric Administration over the Arctic region on some 35,000 walruses moving in the Alaska shoreline. A new marine gravity model in the central Indian Ocean, which is poorly charted in the include the presumed crash of site of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. An American doctor who was exposed to the Ebola virus while volunteering in Sweden on walked across the tarmac on Sunday as U.S. government to catch up with airlines trying to stop Ebola in its tracks. The quantity part of Ebola patient, Tom Sirk Duncan, should be removed with her family after the Texas bomb where Duncan became sick with a virus and where this red stained sheet was still in red, Dallas County Director said. Take a look at New England incident alerts here in New Bedford, Massachusetts. A. Motor vehicle car versus street at 
264. World Street in New Bedford, Massachusetts. It will show you. There you go. This is the site of the accident here. In New Bedford here. Okay, take a look at Spots News here. On this Thursday evening here, take a look at the uh, Major League Baseball, American League Divisional Series Game 1 between the Baltimore Orioles and the Detroit Tigers in the top of the third. Baltimore Orioles are leading the Detroit Tigers 3-2 in the top of the third here. As Nelson Cruz gets the Baltimore Orioles on the board with a first in and homer in ALDS. On Thursday morning, the NFL draft next year will be held from April 30th to May 2nd of 2015. On Thursday after we learn that the draft will be returning to Chicago. New England Patriots President Jonathan Kraft scratches his head as he thanks his answer to our question during a talk about the business in the NFL during a Bloomberg Business of Sports discussion at the State Room on Thursday in Boston. In Santa Clara, California, San Francisco's once dominant defense has begun and rediscovered a record that has defined this unit in recent years. An high school football player has died after he collided with an opponent and collapsed during a game in New York, California. Say Tom Kittanel, 16, I'm sure I'm waiting for high school and lying on down at the hospital Wednesday night. Take a look at our traffic situation here on this Thursday evening. Our Peter Chill News time at 7 11 here in the Chills. Route 3 in the North Bend side, a little slow on Hanover Stretch here. Route 1 and 8, a little slow on East Boston here. And Mass Park East Bend side, slow due to an accident near exit 16 in Newton Corner as travel centers are coming on that area here. And Route 2 westbound, a little slow around the Lemster Stretch here. And otherwise, a smooth sailing commute and the brain tree split a little slow here. Let's take a look at the weather situation here on this. Thursday evening and it's tonight. Patch of after 2 a.m. was. Cloud skies are gradually becoming hot cloud sky low at 46 degrees and not facing about 6 miles becoming calm skies. Friday, Patch of before 8 a.m. was. Pot the sky under 63 degrees and north from about 5 to 8 miles per Friday night. Slight change of drizzle after 3 a.m. and Patch of Alcohol was. Most skies got low 40 degrees and not facing about 5 miles becoming calm in the evening. Saturday, change of drizzle before 10 a.m. then a chance of showers being after 4 p.m. and Patch about before 11 a.m. and then patch back up to 5 p.m. was. Class guys on the high near 600 degrees and calm wind may come in south east by 5 to 7 to 8 miles by the morning and chance to 20 percent. Saturday night, showers and thunderstorms before 11 p.m. Then chance to showers, patch to bog before 11 p.m. Low around 47 degrees and south east wind about 6 to 8 miles by become west after midnight. Winds could get size 20 miles by chance to 8 percent. For Sunday, most of the Sunday, most of the sun got high about 65, low about 42 degrees. Monday, most of the sun got about 69, low about 52 degrees with park class guys on Monday night. By Tuesday, Park the Sky are about 73 degrees. Tuesday night, Chet the Shadows, most cars got low 55 degrees. Chet the Pace to 30%. Wednesday, Chet the Shadows, most cars got down to 70 degrees. And Chet the Pace to 40%. Or that, most of the cars got low 50 degrees. And for Thursday, Park the Sky are about 69 degrees. Here's what a phase of the night. At the evening now, cloudy skies on tap. Not in temperature, 55 degrees over Cascade. That's made a period channel news even in Port on this October 2nd, 2014 on Thursday. PJ with you have a good evening with good positive. I'll see you for late night report, a full report of news, weather and sports at 11 o'clock. Stay tuned.